This is the QL5 from Yamaha. It's a digital console and it's kind of, to me, a combination of the LS9, I guess, in busing structure mm -hmm. uh, with the niceties of the CL series mm. all sort of married together. And I mean, I guess that's reflected in price. Yeah. It's a bit more than you'd expect to pay for an LS9 series, mm. uh, but wow. Yeah, um, they've packed an awful lot uh, into it. So uh, the bus structure is the same as an LS9. So you've got 16 buses, 8 matrix, but you can mix channels to matrix. So 24 plus yeah. uh, stereo and mono. Uh, but you get a lot of the stuff from the CL series, the uh, the bigger modular desks. Uh, so you've got premium processing. They've got um, a third per third-party shark processing chip, which gives you Neve uh, EQ and compression, which mm -hmm. is absolutely beautiful, uh, and a lot of uh, Yamaha-based modeling of classic uh, compressors and, and EQs. And that's not the only special processor in this one. No. Now, one of the really amazing features in this is the Dan Dugan Auto Mixer. Now, Dugan's not really known that much outside of the US and not that much outside of broadcast. Mm. Now, I was skeptical of myself, you know, auto mixing being a function of, well, you know, that's what I'm for. Out there, a machine do my job. But I have to say when I actually sat down and you, you simply just insert the, the auto mixer over the channels you're using. So uh, classic application is a panel of you know sort yeah. of eight people talking or it's a broadcast and you know we've got eight people on the We could be doing this on auto mix. Well we could, there's only two of us but you know. Uh, and what, when you, especially when you're using it with a live PA, uh, look dropping it in gives you probably another 12 to 16 dB of gain and of course you're never missing That's a, a microphone. It, it, a is, it is incredible and you cannot as a human no matter how good you are actually mix that well of that many live mics with people talking at random times. Mm. You just can't and to have that included in this makes this a really interesting choice for corporate AV that, and broadcast. It's been available as a, a card a slot option. A very expensive card. Yeah. yeah. Um, so about four grand worth of card is actually built into the into the desk. Okay. Now yeah. Other new things that are built in, we've got channel delay or input delay input on every delay. channel. Yep. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I do like the fact that we've got uh, four uh, user layers that mm -hmm. we, and we can customize all of those, including the master faders. Mm. Uh, our default layers are always ob going to obviously show mm. you know, the channels and so on. We've got inherited things like being able to color all of the channels yep. individually. Dante connectivity, there's some new stuff there as well. Yeah, well we've got primary and secondary Dante port built in. Now, um, unlike the CLs, it's actually on Ethercon instead of just the normal RJ45s, so though I will have to check that um, they might be incorporating the Ethercons into the into the new builds. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, but like an LS9, you've got all of the analog uh, connections on the back. So mm. the CL, not so much with the analog connections, it's only got eight in, eight out. But the point is you can mm. take this out as a freestanding thing and plug 32 analog sources into it and yeah. 16 analog destinations in the outputs. Mm. Yeah, actually interesting feature of the QL and the QL1, which is the, the smaller version, is you can actually use the pre's as, as a stage box without going through any kind of mixer resource. So mm. you can actually drop these into a Dante network, plug something into say channel one, it doesn't go through any resources on the desk and then you can have that input report to another desk mm. uh, without affecting anything going on in that. So effectively this is like a backup stage box, if you will. Yeah, mm. and I, I think, look, we're, we're starting to see, uh, I guess, people have realized that the versatility of a system like Dante as mm. a platform, mm. uh, and we're starting to see more implementations of the things that you can do with that. Mm. And, and this was a logical thing to happen. Um, other things still very familiar, we've got an AES output, we've got the option to clock it externally, we've got two card slots, so mm. if you've got your yeah, uh, MY series YGDAI cards. Yes, that's right. Uh, you can still use a couple of those. Um, for me, this is this is this is the the better thing than an LS9. Yeah. I, I I find myself quite often doing doing smallish gigs on an LS9, maybe you know a couple of sends of wedges and some in ears and a few radio mics or whatever, and. Uh, for me, this is a lot faster to get around, mm -hmm. uh, and indeed the QL1 is pretty much the same size. Mm -hmm. So look, I, I think they've done really well with this. Mm. I agree.